Welcome to Transition to Life in Daily Living Skills Cleaning House. Today we're going to learn how to clean the bedroom. Now we've already talked about cleaning the bathroom, so you have uh, information on the skills you need for washing down windows, washing down um, countertops. We're going to move on and do a little bit more with those skills today. The first thing you need to know about cleaning your bedroom is you get to decide how hard this job is. If during the week you don't pick up after yourself and you leave trash all over, it's going to be a big job. If, however, you pick up after yourself all week, it's a snap to finish cleaning your bedroom. The first thing you're going to do is carry a trash bag around with you. Now you can see this one is pretty full because I've been cleaning other rooms in the house before I got to the bedroom. You want to pick up any trash that you have all over the room, any things that you have in your nightstands or any clutter that you have, and also empty all of your trash cans before you start. That way you have a nice clear path to do everything else in the room. The next thing you're going to do is make your bed. That's going to go a long way to making your room look nice and neat and have you feel like you have control over the cleaning. Remember to change your sheets every week. When you sleep, you're going to sweat in your bed uh, and that perspiration builds up on your sheets. Wash your sheets once a week and your bed will be nice and clean. The last video, How to Change the Sheets, showed you how to do everything up to this point. The next thing that we do when we're making our bed is you can see that I folded down the bedspread and there's and it's folded so that part of the fold goes under my pillows. Then when I set my pillows on top of the mattress, I can just lift up and fold, oops, hit the light, and fold my bedspread over the top of it. You're going to want to walk around to the other side, but because the camera's here, I can't do that. But this will make a nice, neat fold. And then I can put any decorative items that I have on the bed. That gets the clutter off the floor and gets my bedroom nice and neat. After I've got my bed made, then I want to start to use the to be clean method. I'm going to start at the top. Bedrooms can get cobwebs in them and, and dust particles, hanging things that you don't know where they came from, that hang along the ceiling. Use some sort of broom, a duster, to get up along the top of the ceiling on your walls. I know it sounds silly to dust your walls, but it'll keep things from gathering up there. Go along the top. Once you've finished that, you want to do the top of light shades, the top of your head rail or anything else that you have up high, and around picture frames. Get that whole top row done. The next thing you want to do around the middle of your room is to make sure you clean all the windows. If you have a bedroom window or if you have glass on pictures, Go ahead, you know how to spray it, you know how to wipe it down. One, two little squirts is all you need. Wipe it down and get all of the glass cleaned in your room. Be careful never to use glass spray on your wood furniture. Glass spray has a substance in it that's going to eat up the finish on your furniture and ruin the wood finish. So make sure that you use either uh, a spray wax or, or orange oil spray or a multi-purpose spray that can be used for glass, wooden surfaces, uh, and, and for metals. But don't, um, don't use window spray on your, on your furniture. Make sure that you have everything off your furniture. Give it, did you see, just a little bit of a spray and then wipe it all down. Also, wipe down the front surfaces where your fingers are, down the sides, anywhere where there's an edge that might collect dust. 
When you're finished dusting, put your articles back either in their, in their same spots or this is a chance to rearrange things if you would like to try things a little bit different in your room. We've started at the top of our room and gone in circles around the ceiling to Windex and to do the furniture, uh, furniture tops, dressers, nightstands. Now it's time to go to the bottom and do the floor. We're going to use our vacuum to make sure that we vacuum every spot in the bedroom. Also try and get under the bed. Hopefully there aren't too many things under the bed besides dust bunnies. This is a chance to clean that all up. When you're done with this part of the vacuum, get out your attachments and make sure that you go along all of the corners along the walls and around the furniture to get all of the, the dirt that hides right in those corners and crevices. So now you know how to clean your bedroom. We're going to start by picking up the trash. We're going to make our bed, then clean the ceiling, wash all of the mirrors and windows in your room, work on the furniture, vacuum the floor, mop the floor if you have a, a different floor surface, sweep it and mop it, and then your room will be all clean and ready to start. How hard this job is depends on how clean you keep it all week. Pick up after yourself and it'll be an easy job. Good luck cleaning your bedroom.